Hello everybody, this is Sean from minifigpriceguide.com and today I thought I'd put together a how-to video so you too can make the Deadpool 2 Bob Ross minifigure from the new Wet on Wet trailer that was released for the Deadpool 2 movie. I thought this was a hilarious trailer as you probably did as well and I thought I'd make a crack at putting together this minifigure. Um, I found it pretty easy with five figures that you may already have at home and a few common items so I'll do a quick video, I'll show you all the pieces you need and uh, I'll put them together at the end for you. Alright, the first step is you need to collect five minifigures and a few random parts. Now you might already have most of these items at home or you might have to do a few substitutions but if you can take a look, first off you need the collectible minifigure from series 4, the painter. Then you need the Disco Diva from uh, Series 13. You need a Deadpool minifigure, that's SH-032. You need a Homer Simpson minifigure. You could also use a white torso if you didn't have a Homer Simpson minifigure. And you need a Superboy minifigure. Um, so from the painter you're going to get the palette, you're going to get the uh, paintbrush, and you're going you're gonna to get his white arms. From the Disco Diva, you're going to get the brown hair, the afro hair for Bob Ross. From Deadpool, you're going to take the scabbard and you're going to take the head. I'll put a list of all the in ingredients in the, in the description of the video. From Homer, you're going to take his shirt and pull off his arms. And from Superboy, you're going to take his jeans. Now, there's quite a few other minifigures that have jeans, so you can substitute. Uh, then I found two random red arms that I had in my minifigure box and two black hands. And I'll show you what we're going to do with those shortly. So, the other thing you need, hold on one second, is a painting from the internet, which I'll put this link in. This is the end painting that uh, Deadpool ends up painting. Um, and this is, uh, I've got a link in the video so you can go find it. I, I took downloaded that picture and I cropped it to 105 pixels wide for perspective so that it matched the minifig size. Alright, once again, here's all your parts. You've got Superboy's pants, you've got the painter's palette, you've got Homer's torso without the arms, you've got the two white arms from the painter, you've got the paintbrush, you've got Deadpool's scabbard, you've got Deadpool's head, you've got the Disco Diva's hair, You've got two red arms, which I'll show you what we're going to do with those, and two black hands. So the first step is to put the torso together with the arms and the black hands. So I'll do that and show you a picture. Hold on. Alrighty, there we've got the arms and the torso. Now the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two red arms that I picked up, and I'm going to get a razor blade, and I'm going to make the, the basically uh, Deadpool's hands that are sticking out of his shirt. And I'll show you real quick. Hold on. So basically what I did was I grabbed a razor blade and I'm going to cut off about an eighth of an inch of the arm. Which you can see right here. This gives you a perfect shirt cuff for the... Uh, okay, so I'm going to hit pause again. Alright, then once you cut the shirt cuff you got to take it and you got to slice one side of the sleeve so you can get it over the minifigure hand. There, just like that. Alright, now you have two shirt cuffs. You've got the two black hands and you've got the white torso that we made earlier. So we can now put those all together. Alright, now we've got his torso put together and You'll notice that one thing looks a little off. His collar is yellow. And for that, I'm going to do an on Lego like thing and I'm going to get a red Sharpie. So I'm going to color in his yellow torso with a red Sharpie. If you don't have one, I picked it up at Walgreens for $1.19 this morning. Um, they have them in the aisle. I'm sure you can get them somewhere else if you don't have Walgreens. So hold on and I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, now it's looking a little better. Um, I think the red sharpie actually turned out spectacular. Um, there's the red sharpie I used, in case you're wondering. It's got a fine and a medium point on it. I used the medium point. It was plenty, uh, 
clay of accuracy for this. So I think the next part is we're going to put the, the pants, the legs, and the uh, scabbard, and the head on, and the hair on. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you a step along each step of the way. And we've added on the Superboy pants. And I put on the scabbard. I took the swords out of the scabbard because he doesn't have the swords in the wet on wet trailer. There we have the Deadpool head. We're getting there. He's starting to look pretty good. There's the signature Bob Ross afro um, from the Joy of Painting TV show, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Interesting note, the wet on wet from the trailer, in case you didn't know it, is reference to Bob Ross's painting style, where he painted uh, wet paint on top of already wet paint. All right, finally we added in the paintbrush and the paint palette. So I thought that was pretty funny. I think he looks pretty good so far. You see the red cuff links, the red cuffs. You see the red uh, shirt underneath his collar, the red skin underneath his collar. You see the red arms. Um, you've got the signature afro. You've got the scabbard. You've got the paintbrush and the paint palette and the blue jeans. Um, I think we're pretty much there. One more thing before I go on and finish it up is um, all the paint colors in the movie are Hollywood puns. Men in Black, Betty White, Girls of Indigo, Clockwork Orange, Doc Brown, Pretty in Pink, and Box Office Gold. I thought that was uh, pretty funny. Now the paint colors on my palette aren't going to match up, but we're going to have to go with close enough on this one. Alright, so finally here you see the finished product. Um, again, I took the uh, picture that I've got the link in the description on the video. I sized it down to 105 pixels white, and then I cut out a long strip. I folded it in half, and then I just made a little uh, stand out of it. So I didn't quite build a, a fancy Lego stand. And then I just put it on a uh, 4x8 block and put a 4x4 underneath it to hold the piece of paper in on the front. So let's go through all the pieces. You'll need a Sharpie and a razor blade. You'll need the painter from Series 4 with the paintbrush and the paint palette and the arms. You'll need two extra red arms to make his the red showing through on Deadpool's arms. you use the Sharpie to color in Homer, Homer's yellow uh, shirt collar peeking through. You'll need Deadpool's superhero minifigure with the uh, scabbard and the head. And then you'll need Disco Diva's hair and you need Superboy's pants. So tell me what you think. I think it turned out actually pretty good. Um, I saw a couple of these on the internet and I made a few tweaks. Um, these are Some of them were photoshopped on the internet. I tried to do it official. Now I did use two on Lego-like techniques where I colored his collar in, which I guess you could use a piece of paper or you could just stick with the yellow collar. Um, I thought it made it look a little better. And then I uh, I cut off the little red arms to make I couldn't think of any pieces that would fit here. I was trying to find some red hose, but I didn't have any red hose in my collection. And uh, red arms are pretty plentiful, so it wasn't that hard. The most expensive piece of this is probably the Deadpool minifigure, which no damage did occur to Deadpool, even though he would regenerate. And uh, thanks a lot. I thought this was pretty fun. Um, if you haven't seen the Wet on Wet trailer for Deadpool 2, I would check it out. I'll put a link to that also in the video. It's pretty awesome. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody. This is Sean from Minifig Price Guide, and I hope you enjoyed my how-to video.